Right, this question is a, a good one to show how to use the graph facilities on the calculator. You're asked to find the values for which the log of x in this function is greater than the uh, modular value or the absolute value of the function on the left. So let's go to the graphing soft, uh, software on the calculator. Execute. Let's put in log x. Log x. And let's put in this value. Now how do we do that? Press options and you'll get the option to press number inside number. You get the absolute function, which of course is the positive value of anything we input. So we put 0.1x squared minus two lots of x plus three. Close the brackets and now we'll plot both of those. So there you can see the function. Now the only thing you've got to do is, is be confident enough to know which is which. Now you should at this stage have an idea that the log function looks something like this. So I think that's easy to identify. So that leaves us with the other function clearly looks something like this. But in the back of your mind you should have a thought that the absolute value will return the positives. You can see the base function inside there is quadratic, so you should have an idea that a quadratic function would look something like this. It's a positive x squared, and of course we know that when we do that, we're going to end up with a function where this bit will disappear, and we'll be left with this section here. So we're expecting to see a function that looks like this. And we have a function that looks like that from the log. What I'm trying to say is that you need to have enough background to be able to have the idea that we've got two values there which are clearly shown over on the uh, calculator, but there looks to be some other values which we need to be aware of. Now, background you have to bring to this question to succeed. So clearly the graph doesn't cover enough there. Let's check. Let's go to the window. And let's change the x value, let's change it to 40. So it goes up to 40, press execute, execute again, press draw. Ah, we're right, it does look like this graph over on this side. And so we need to do something about what we've drawn. Okay, uh, it looks as if the gra graph doesn't have to go up to 40, so I'll go back to the window and I'll change that to 20. And we'll draw it again. And clearly we can locate our values here. The thing that's, that we should be looking for is that we, we're interested in the region here, which I should have shaded. This region here between the values where the log is in fact bigger than the absolute value function. Now we can find those regions using our um, G-solve. We press G solve, intersect, F5, there's our first solution. So our first answer there is 1.52. Our next answer will be 1, 1.79. Our third answer will be 17.6. And our fourth answer will be... 19.1. So clearly we have the regions, the, the values where this function holds will be x greater than 1.52 and less than 1.79 and x greater than 17.6 and less than 19.1. And there's your answer for that question.